When you solder brass, the product surface has a film of excess solder, acids, and oxidized fire scale. For the project to look good, and to be sure the solder joint does not degrade with time, you should remove this. But it, that can, particularly for small objects, be a bit tedious, and the removal is not always complete. In this video, I will show you a simple, cheap, fast way to preserve your work, removing everything, and brighten your brass. Now for the typical YouTube administrative note. I do not ask for donations, purchases, Patreon payments, or any of that stuff. My intent is to try to help by passing on my experience in video and not to look for money from you. I ask for but one thing. The YouTube algorithm is brutal. Whether people see a video or not depends on its likes and comments. Yet worse, it degrades all videos in a channel if a few videos don't get likes or comments. So I ask you to help me battle the YouTube computer. This video may be of little interest to you, but it may be very important to someone else. So please just give it a like, whether it is of interest to you or not, so YouTube will show it to others who may be interested. Let them make the decision and not some computer. Thank you for your consideration. Finally, please let me know in the comments section what the video subjects you would like me to cover. And if there is any clarification needed on anything in this video, let me know. I am going to use a homemade pickling solution that you can use without having to buy special hot pots or other equipment. We will use a small jar, some white vinegar, and salt. Now, let's watch how we do it. All right, pickles, pickling solution is easily made. It's a half cup of white vinegar. That's plenty to, for resistant solder or anybody doing solder work. And then a half tablespoon of salt, plus or minus. And we'll mix this up. Next step is this has to be heated. Now, if you watch the jewelry videos on pickling, they tell you to put this in a crock pot. No need to invest. What I'm going to do is take this over and put it into the microwave. And I'll make it boil. And once it's boiling, uh, I'll add my brass, let it sit, and let it cool down. That's the whole process. Very simple. So to the microwave I go. Okay, stuff boiled in the microwave. Now it's a matter of adding my brass. That's not a very difficult process. Just these things are small. I put a cover on it just to hold it temperature. I'll set this aside and let it cool. Now one thing there's always a warning about not using steel in your pickle because you'll ruin the pickle and you'll end up plating. Uh, anything you put into it with my procedure here I just let this uh, vinegar salt solution clean up the brass, I let it cool, and then I put my finger in to take the stuff out with my finger. One thing about this uh, salt vinegar solution, hot, it's great for cleaning anything. I, I, I use it to uh, clean up my uh, paintbrushes when they get, they get full, filled with glue or acrylic or whatever. I put them in here, and that vinegar, hot vinegar, will uh, boil the junk out of there. So it's a great solution. 
So all I'm going to do now is put it aside and it'll take an hour or so to cool down and then it'll be ready. All right, next thing to do is to take the brass out of the pickle and this is nice and cool now. We've got to put it in some baking soda to kill and maybe you can see the, the bubbles here as we're killing the acid. So we'll neutralize the acid. We'll get all the bubbles to stop and then we'll go ahead <coughs> excuse me and give everything a good washing in water. Let me bring this in. Should be able to see the bubbling. So we'll let that go. Then we'll wash it in the water and everything's nice and clean. We can paint it with no problem. You can see the shine on these gates. They were pretty well messed up after soldering. Now they're beautiful. I almost hate to paint them and put them in the model, but that's the way it is. Please give it a like if you haven't given it a like yet. Have a good day and I hope this helps.